there is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. Water quality. A mindless eating machine. Otherwise known as... <laughs> In 2002, Spring and Upper Prior Lake were listed on the Minnesota's list of impaired waters. As a result, the district put together an Integrated Pest Management Plan, or IPM, for common carp in 2017 to reduce the carp population and help restore our impaired waters. Did you know that common carp are one of the most damaging aquatic invasive species due to their wide distribution and severe impacts in shallow lakes and wetlands? Their feeding disrupts shallowly rooted plants, muddying the water and releasing phosphorus that increases algae abundance. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. I am implanting this fish with a radio tag. We use these radio tags to identify where these fish go in the springtime, in the summertime, fall, and then um, in the winter. What we're doing right now, we found them yesterday in the Seine Hall and had our commercial fishermen come out to capture them. These, these tags will last about three years and We'll keep track of every fish that we take. This radio tag carp aggregation map tells us where the carp are located in order to have a carp seine. How we calculate a population estimate from catching, marking, and releasing carp goes as follows. Say you catch six carp in the first capture. You mark all six, then release them. Then you capture nine carp the second capture, two of which you already marked from the first capture. You take the first catch times the second catch and divide that number by the marked carp you caught in the second capture, and that gives you your population estimate of 26 carp. There are certain requirements that need to be met in order to have a carp seine. This includes having thick enough ice, warm outside temperatures so the native fish aren't in danger while sorting, carp conjugated in one place, commercial fishermen ready with their nets, and there has to be an existing market for the fish to be sent after removal. All of these factors are extremely hard to accomplish at the same time, but are essential to a successful carp scene. Fisherman first start out by cutting a large hole in the water, which then he drops the net in. The top of the net has floaters and the bottom of the net has weights. He then drills two smaller holes on either side of the first initial large hole and grabs the net and pushes it through the hole with a stick. He then pulls the net out of the small drilled holes and repeats this process until he gets close to the shoreline. He then drills another large hole in the water located by the shoreline, cinches the net, and pulls both sides of the net through. This system makes a wall and when the fishermen pull the net through the larger hole located by the shoreline, the fish will be trapped and pulled up through the hole otherwise known as the Seine Hall. I'm sure you're wondering what happens to the native fish when they get caught in the net with the carp. Well, they get taken out quickly and get thrown back into the lake to ensure their survival. So they're hauling up the fish in a net, right like that, dumping it on the table. And then they sort them into different sizes. Um, the big ones and the small ones go to different markets. 
During the 2018 seine, carp were sent in a live well truck to markets on the east coast along with game fishing markets in the south. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I'll be back. Prior Lake Spring Lake Watershed District's goal is to reduce the carp population in district waters to below 100 kilograms per hectare acre. When the population is below that level, it is thought that the carp aren't as damaging. The district will be working to keep the carp population under control so everyone can enjoy what the Prior Lake Watershed has to offer.